Hey y'all, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about nutrition. So why would a dog trainer wanna talk about nutrition? Well, for me, it's simple. Everything we put into our bodies affects our health and also has an effect on behavior. Have you seen any of the recent Snickers commercials? They have some celebrity playing the part of an angry or eccentric person who, when given a Snickers bar, turns back into their regular self. Well, it's kind of like that, except we're talking about vitamins and minerals and not candy bars. So stick with me because at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly what I feed my dog. I'm back and we're talking about nutrition and how it actually does affect your dog's training. Let me first start out by asking you a question. When you've gone on a junk food bender, and I'm sure most of us have at least once or twice, how do you feel the next few days? You've deprived your body of essential nutrients, replaced real food with processed chemicals, and probably haven't even seen a glass of water in days. I can tell you from experience that it feels like crap. My body is tired, dehydration takes its toll, and my brain is in a fog. Guess what? The same thing is happening to your dog when all they get to eat is processed junk. And yes, I am talking about kibble. How well do you learn when you feel terrible and can't focus? How much do you actually care about focusing on your task and doing your best when you don't feel well and your brain is in a fog? And yet, we expect our dogs to be at peak performance and act like perfect little angels when we feed them the worst possible diets. Look, I get it. We have been told for decades that dogs need to eat kibble and that this brand is better than that brand, but stop and think about it for a minute. Fresh food is the best food you can put in your body and in your dog's body. FYI, your cat too. So as a society, we feed processed junk to our pets and expect them to perform at a normal level mentally. It doesn't add up. A recent study by researchers in Iran has shown that providing supplementation of magnesium, omega-3 fatty acids, and zinc produce noticeable behavioral differences in dogs in both a control group and dogs with known behavioral issues. It's no shock to me, but for those who need proof, here you go. So what should you do with this information? Well, I told you at the beginning of this video that I would reveal to you what I feed my own dog. So I feed her a biologically appropriate species specific diet of raw foods. She won't even touch kibble if it's put in front of her. She loves her food and it provides her all the proper nutrients her canine body and mind need. So here's my challenge to you. Replace at least 20% of your dog's processed diet with fresh whole foods, muscle meats, organ meats, fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh fish like sardines, whole food supplements, and watch the changes in your dog. Keep a journal if you need to, to remind yourself of all the little changes you will see every day. And if you need suggestions for foods to use, let me know and I'll be happy to help. And let me know all of the wonderful changes you see in your dog. I can't wait to hear from you. That's it for this video. If you haven't already, join the Train Positive group. I'll put a link in the description. Give this video a like and go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.